Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the end of the season, end of 24-25. We are playing um, Eastleigh for the final match but before we get into it we're just going to take a look at how the season's gone. So, um, looking at the schedule, so last time we um, had an episode, I was at the end of February and we were kind of halfway th down the table um we're still halfway down the table as you can see 12th uh so yeah we had a mixture of results we didn't manage to get all the way up to the playoffs so for this last match the best we can get to is ninth which is where our opponent is at the moment uh, i don't think we can get up to ninth actually the points don't there aren't enough points in that we can get up to 10th um, so that'll be the maximum we can get up to his 10th. We all tied him for points, but with a quite a significant goal difference there. We woking. Excuse me there. Um, yeah, so we are going to play the last match and then look at the season review. Nothing really changed since the last time I spoke to you. Maybe... Um, no, I don't think any players changed at all. So I think we still have the same squad. The only... Uh, difference in players is that we have a fresh intake of new gens and now our new, and the 18 squad is strong we used to be I think below average possibly but now it is strong and we are in second in the league uh, with a few matches to go still I think two matches to go and we've been doing quite well and the last few matches and we should still be able to win possibly no I think it's too far away for us to win now six points in that and we've got two games left so probably that's it second place not too bad but we are gonna improve I think we've improved coaching again let me just look at the facilities quite quickly uh, club him so facilities um, adequate youth facilities good academy coaching so we've improved our academy coaching again um, so that means that players should come to us closer to their potential rating. So, let's jump into this last match and let's see how it goes. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter, like the outcome doesn't really matter because we didn't get to the playoffs, but we did do better than last year. Last year we finished in 14th and this year the lowest we can finish, and I think the lowest is 12th, which is where we are at the moment. I'm just going to sip on my coffee for a minute while the play plays out. And there we are with our first goal conceded. I think we've struggled a little bit by not having too much experience on the squad this year. Um, oh, 13th. We can go as low as 13th, apparently. I think looking at the squad, the worst position is probably goalkeeping. Our strikers are actually quite good. And... Um, what other positions? Strike Strikers and midfield are quite good. Uh, central defenders aren't too bad either, but the goalkeeping is pretty poor in comparison to the rest of the squad. One area we are lacking uh, is the physical attributes, especially pace. We don't have an awful lot of pace throughout the team. That's a good one from Casey. Casey hasn't played that much this season. He used to be very good last year. Actually, our two strikers that used to be very good last year, none of them did many waves. 
our best strike actually got poached by another club, sadly, so. So I think Morgan Wigley <coughs> is our best at the moment. And there he is with another goal. To get up to 10th, we would have to score um, a, a whole lot of goals because walking has a pretty big goal difference compared to us. I think we are on a negative 5 and walking is like on a positive 10. So we'd have to score something like 16, 17 goals to actually <laughs> go up to 10th. So yeah, so I would say the goalkeeping is the position we need to improve the most, but it's hard to get good goalkeepers at this level. Um, they they do struggle to come by. Well, I guess 13th is better than 14th. <laughs> so we still did better than last season, but not as well as I thought we would. Okay, I'm going to make one last substitution after this goal. Um, let's see. That's it. That's the very last substitution of the season. No penalties, please. I guess we'll take a penalty if it's for us. <laughs> I was going to take it. Erico. Yeah, Eric Souza. And he scores. So in this case, uh, we go up to 10th in a table because I think Walking um, is no longer winning their match. So we actually beat them on points. Just gonna maintain this until the end. Ah. There we go, and no surprises at the end. That's nice because usually FM throws some sort of last minute goal from the opponent or something. Right, so we have finished 10th, which is a lot better than last year. 
last year we finished 14th and uh, points wise we finished about nine points away from playoffs so it's still quite a bit quite a bit far behind uh, from the playoffs but um, it's an improvement on last year so we quite um, well bedded into this league which is good and we are improving from season to season which is also very good um, so what we'll do then is um, wait for the end of season awards see if we got anything on that We've got a slightly worse budget this year ah, interesting what's this um, nah, I'm good that's okay <coughs> excuse me Oh, got cold coming. So we're just gonna have to wait for the playoffs to play out. But in the meantime, we have our own internal review. And yeah, okay, lots of young players, obviously, in this list because um, we we didn't really get anyone older than twenty three, except for Erico. So yeah, pretty good. We didn't go quite as far in the FA Cup. And did we go? F I'm not sure. I can't remember about the trophy, um, FA Trophy. So that's why our revenue for broadcast and competition prize money and even match day possibly isn't as high. We're doing quite well with the corporate facilities now that our stadium is ours. And here we are, record breakers. Highest transfer fee, 17k for Jacob. Uh, 13 received for Russ, the goalkeeper at the left. And the youngest goal scorer, 17 year old um, Adam O'Shea. Fan player of the season, Reggie Evans, the centre back, also the young player of the season and the signing of the season. And the highest average rating as well. Goal of the season goes for the midfielder, Ken Brecken. Top goal scorer, 15 for Morgan, even though probably our other striker that left halfway through the year, he probably would have got that because he had 13 goals in 13 games. So if he kept up the, kept up the record, he would have been our top goal scorer. Nine assists for Will. Uh, five player of the matches for Erico. And uh, most passes completed for the centre back, Dave Stevens. And the timeline, well, yeah, I always just skim through it. One day, maybe at the 10 year mark, I will read it all, etc. But for now, we'll skip that. Morgan was added to the squad, to the. Um, Uh, to the best 11. Thomas Miles was also added. I think the only players that are still exist at the club are, well, Dave, Dave Stevens, Bahrain, uh, Will, and that's it. Everybody else is gone. Okay, this is interesting. Um, so we've got a few more followers on social media that we know that. Um, core players have declined in favor of family and corporate. We got a little bit of corporate, which we didn't have before. We lost, lost some fair weather. So core players are like the average player, right? And now we have family players, f f sorry, not players, supporters, supporters. You know what I mean? Temperate and patient followed by casual, which are less passionate and Less passionate and less loyal than the average. Hardcore are very loyal. Uh, and then we have Fairweather, which is, uh, they are impatient. They just want everything to go smoothly. So that's kind of good that we lost some of those, which means our support will go up. Corporate are more interested in our facilities than anything else. Some of these things have been added. So the fans want just to be competitive against Cheltenham and Shrewsbury, just like before, and against Newport. 
get the better out of uh, Kidderminster, which we won't play against them because they're not in our league. Um, avoid a relegation. Uh, yeah, okay. That sounds good. I'm going to negotiate these. Oh, a lot of the demands have gone. Previous object objectives, we had loads more. So they don't care about us uh, signing young players, growing the reputation. I oh know, growing the reputation is still there. Or keeping a um, one year limit on um, over 32 players. Okay. I'm still going to delete all of these, just so. And our goal is still going to be to avoid relegation, as before. Okay, so we're going to have to pay the wrecked football counterattack and grow the club reputation, which I think we can do. And there we are. I'm going to leave it there, boys and girls and everybody else. Um, and then, oops, and then we're going to catch up again at the end of the season, at the start of the season with a refreshed squad. And let's see how that goes. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the Patreon as well. You can get your name on either a youth uh, new gen or a senior new gen as well. Obviously, the senior new gens is has got a cap on it. Um, so there's limited availability for those. Take care. See you next one. Bye-bye.